Hi folks, Wadney here. Hey, I'm going to get right into this video and it's something I'm pretty excited about and it is the Boxo Toolbox. It is a Moto Box Toolbox. Um, pretty excited about it. Uh, I have this old set and I'm going to open it up here in a few minutes and kind of show you the reason why I really wanted to go to the Boxo uh, and show you some of the benefits as well. So first off, I'm going to open this up. Now I will tell you this, I was a little, uh, I was a little hesitant and it's truly based on price. Eight hundred and I think I paid eight hundred and fifteen dollars on Amazon, and it, obviously for a hundred and three piece set, it seems very expensive. Uh, but when I got the box, I felt a lot, a lot more reassured about it. Um, the box itself, the tools were outside of it; it was in separate boxes. But the box itself probably weighs thirty-five to forty pounds, and I was truly amazed on how heavy the box actually is. It's made of aluminum. Um, the trays have really good rollers on them. Uh, everything just kind of locks in place. The foam that you get with it holds all the tools in place. And that was one of the biggest reasons I wanted to go to this. Um, so without further ado, I'm just kind of going to go through it. And then, like I said, I'm going to open up this box so you can see what's in it as well. Uh, everything here was truly thought out. Um, you got tire arms here. Um, you also have, you got a 32 millimeter socket there where you can use for your your uh, axle nut you've also got adapters that's 22 for the front you've got another 27 uh, for some of the different bikes take different sizes uh, i was kind of concerned about that i'm thinking okay well am i going to have to take my other sockets because i have axle nut sockets that i take long uh, that don't really fit in the set itself and uh, so i went back and i checked them and i have as you can see here, I have a KTM and then I also have a YZ450FX. And the sockets that uh, were in the set, they all truly fit. And so I was kind of impressed about that. Everything is extremely heavy. And heavy, I kind of uh, relate that to quality. Uh, and so everything does have uh, what I think is a great quality to it. You got your breaker bar, you've got both 3 8 and quarter inch sockets. Uh, you have these. These uh, T handles and these will slide up and down, and uh, that actually makes it really, really convenient for putting stuff on in a kind of a quick fashion. In this drawer, you have all your pliers, you've got cutters, uh, some channel locks. Um, this one's your uh, wire ties for your your uh, hand grips. In this drawer, you have your metric wrenches. Um, there again, truly impressed with the quality. Uh, they are a thin wrench and uh, makes it easier getting into those tight places. Uh, but there again, everything feels like a really good quality. And that's pretty much it for the box itself. Uh, like I said, everything is truly thought out. Just about anything that you can think of that you would need for your dirt bike is going to be inside this box. And uh, one thing I will mention, I mentioned this before, it is heavy. So the box and the tools it's set weighs about 57 pounds. And so I think that's uh, pretty heavy for a box with only 103 pieces. Um, but on the other hand, when you have all the tools that you would need and not a bunch of excess tools, uh, it's truly worth it. And like I said, biggest weight uh, comes from the box itself. And I think that's just a high quality. All right, so let's talk about the box I've been using. It's a Craftsman. I've had it for about five years. Um, it, my biggest complaint about the box is it doesn't hold stuff in place. So I'm going to open it up and take a look here. Uh, now this is just a bunch of junk I've accumulated over a period of time and, and uh, probably stuff I didn't need to keep. But this is what it looks like when I go out to ride. By the time I get in, keep in mind I go down a, a gravel road that's about three to four miles long. By the time I actually get there, Everything is such a jumbled mess, I can't find half the tools without having to rearrange the whole thing. Over a period of time, sockets come up missing. Where they go, I have no clue because I'm pretty good about putting my stuff back once I use it. Uh, it's kind of like, you know, you put the socks in the, in the washer and a lot of times by the end of the time or by the end of the, the wash cycle, you can't find all the pairs of the socks. So, I'm not sure where they go, but anyway, I think that's what's going on with the sockets too. Uh, but same thing here. This one's not as bad. Uh, it does have dividers that holds the sockets, but then, like I said, they're not a in place by the time you get there. And then the drawers. The drawers are a lot cheaper. Where this one has really good rollers on it, 
everything's smooth. It kind of locks into place to hold it. And then the same thing here. You know, nothing's in place by the time you get there. So it was time to do something different. Like I said, I really hesitated about spending that, that much money for the box itself. Uh, I could have gone to a lot cheaper set, uh, but you would have a huge surplus of a lot of sockets that you don't need and probably additional wrenches. Um, they sell quality, or, or excuse me, I should say they sell quantity uh, because you get a lot of extra tools for it, but you're not going to be using half those tools when you're just taking them out to ride. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I truly think this is a great box. Like I said, it is a little bit expensive, uh, but when you get, look at the quality that you actually get, how many years you'll have to uh, use this box, and uh, the fact that it holds everything in place, like I said, is a, is a great benefit as well. So hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, please feel free to uh, send me a comment. Uh, please take the time to like and subscribe if you enjoy the video. If I'm providing any uh, content that uh, you see as a benefit, like I said, please take time to subscribe and share with your friends. Have a great evening.